So hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection and first I know that I sound a bit different it's because I have a cold right now and you know it's like kind of winter-ish so that's why and you might notice but um, I cut my hair off like that that much and I'm kind of surprised about it and I'm actually kind of happy about it but yeah into the actual video thing. I know I have done a video before about my makeup collection but I just thought I could just do an updated one because who doesn't like updates and like my makeup has changed a lot since my past video so yeah let's just get started so first I just keep my makeup in like these little makeup bags like to keep them separated and stuff I don't tend to like put them in one all makeup bag because I just feel like it's hard to like find all the stuff and if I just put them in separate bags then it makes it easier for me and I just put it in like a drawer up there that's just down there you know and that I got from Ikea by the way and let's just get started so the first bag is just this one and I have all of my eyeshadows and like mascaras and just yeah, stuff like that. So, let's just go through it. So, the first thing that I have, I'll show you all of my favorite palettes and all the ones that I don't really recommend. So, the first one is going to be this one. And this is the Y7 Naked Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. And I know Y7 isn't the best brand that you could actually possibly get. I know, like, MAC and, like, Urban Decay are a lot better, but... This is like good for like beginners or something and I'm kind of like a beginner even though I use makeup like for ages. Still I'm only 11 and this is like a beginner for me. So yeah and I just really like this palette because it has very very natural colors. You might not see perfectly but it just does. It has like a dark it's not really dark, it's like kind of brown, but kind of into the light. Then this one is a like nude-ish brown. It's very kind of lightish brown. It's kind of in the pink side-ish. And they're all glittery, but only a tiny bit, which is good. And then there's a white for like your inner corners and any highlights that you want to do or anything. And then there's like this ginger nude here, which is gone I would say and you know I've been using those a lot lately because they are really good but I like all of these colors so I really really recommend this palette and the other palette that I also recommend is the Revlon Color Stay palette and this is well these are in the shades Coffee Bean and they are very pretty shades they are like coffee <laughs> shades and first one is just this they're all basically glittery except from the bottom one which is really brown and like the nude brown which is here which is like almost gone basically and the top one is just like a nude orange kind of pale skin like kind of like your skin tone and then I just have this very very bronzy looking shimmery color and I don't really use this too much because it's very shimmery and dark but I use it like kind of like a little sparkle just to like make it a bit fancy you know so yeah and now on to the palettes that I don't really recommend now the first one is this one even though it's not a palette it's a eye crayon thing and this is actually sorry guys this is actually not a brand but it's from like a newspaper thing and it's not that good it's very sticky on your eyes I don't know why but I just don't recommend like makeup from like magazines because they can like get you like rashes all over your face or like make them super sticky like this or just anything really bad so I recommend like brand normal brands so yeah and then for my favorite two mascaras, first I just have the Rimmel London Extreme Black Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil. And this is a very, very good mascara. And this was actually my mom's, but she didn't use it too much because she got a new one, which is the MAC one. So she thought just to give it to me to like play around with and stuff. And I can obviously use this outside, but like only a tiny bit because it's like really, really voluminous. Yeah, um, and it's very actually very good. Um, the 
brush looks like this. It's kind of chunky and it gets quite a lot of chunks on your eyelashes, but who cares about those? You can even get those out with a little brush. So, yeah. And then my second favorite is just this Revlon Custom Eyes Mascara. And this is really good because, like, when you open this, it looks like that. The brush is very thin, kind of-ish. And it, like, goes all over your eyes, which I really like. And it has, like, this little thing, twisty thing at the top. And you can, like, twist it to, like, lengthen definition here. And if you twist it back it goes to length and drama and i just really like that because it makes like the brushes more thicker if you want length and definition or whatever so yeah those are my two favorites now let's get on to the other makeup so the other makeup i just keep well it's not properly cold clothes but i just have it in this angel box and i just put like birthday washi tape around it i don't know why i put birthday or washi tape around it but I just felt like it you know crazy thing going on but yeah let's just see what's inside of here so basically what I have in here is face stuff my favorite mascara because it wouldn't fit in the pink one um and then I just have like a few single eyeshadows and like yeah that's basically it so first I have two powders and this one's the Samina Pure Makeup, and this one is the L'Oreal Paris. And my favorite one, as you can tell, I love L'Oreal because of my, you know, you'll just get onto it in the lip stuff after. But my favorite is the L'Oreal because it actually is like a highlighter plus kind of cheek tint thing. But it's also like a powder, so it's like a mix, which I really like. And it's not that... I don't really like the ones that are like really powdery because like sometimes you get on your brush like too many and then you just can't like blend it all in but I like the ones that are just matte and they're like very pretty I don't know if you can see that but it's just very very pretty and that's why I love it and then my favorite bl bl blush is this one which is the Alme and you might have seen in my last video that I had in what's in my makeup bag that this was my favorite blush as well because it is totally amazing and it is in the tints no fla flavor I was about to say flavor it is in the color peach 130 and I just think peach goes with my skin so that's why I really like it and then I just have one bronzer yeah one bronzer sorry guys then I just have one bronzer which is the sun bronze rimmel london one and um I'm kind of almost gone but I had this for my mom so that's why it's almost gone but it is actually quite a good bronzer but it doesn't show up as that much on my skin because sometimes I have like very like sunburn not sunburn like tan skin sometimes so it doesn't work all the times but it's a great choice if you're a starter so yeah and that's about it and like I said I just have a few eyeshadows like singles and just stuff like that so yeah and then the last one is just this bag that I got from Savers also <clears throat> I've got a very croaky voice today but also like this one and I actually really like this one it's very cute and this one just says sorry um this one just says the most beautiful of the beach and it just has lots of beachy stuff like a bathing suit, some sunglasses, and sun cream, sunscreen, yeah, and I think it's very cute, so let's just see what's in it, and by the way, this is my lip thing, and it has like a thousand of them, but I will go through them very quickly, so it doesn't have to be a super, super long video. So first off, let's start off with the lip glosses, so first I'll show you my favorites, which First one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I actually got this like a week ago, and this is in the shade 11 Milan, Milan? It's not Milani, obviously, but it's Milan. Um, and this smells so, so good, and it has a very, very nice tint to it. 
It's like kind of nude, um, pink, but very more nudish. Um, but it's like very pretty, and I really recommend the NYX Lip Soft Matte Cream thing. Is so yeah. Um, and then that's, and then my second favorite is the Rimmel London Oh My Gloss lip gloss and this is very nude as well i really like nude lip glosses because my mom thinks it goes with my lips and skin and stuff so that's why i have quite a few nude stuff but obviously some of them are more like bam but these like are very good lip glosses that i proper recommend and then on to my normal ones, first off with Tubed, I just have a one from Claire, which smells amazing, but it's very sticky. Then I have a one from Magazine, which is very bright. This one that is super bright, which is the LA Colors Jelly Gloss, it's in the shade pink. Then I have the Extreme Lip Color, Barry M one, which is also very bright, just a Magazine one, um, two that were like drugstore ones that are just like one pound and one just like purple light purple and then red ish and then i just have a l'oreal nude one forever nude which is very good and then i have the glee lip gloss um a raspberry one that i also got from a magazine and that are basically all of my lip glosses and now on to lipsticks so the First one that I have is the Rimmel London New Nuove lipstick. It is not new, it is like kind of old, but not too old, so I can still use it. It's like this kind of shade. Don't know if, if you can see it proper, because I'm filming on my tablet, not on a camera, but surely sometime, like in the past few years, I will change into a camera. This is just my first lipstick. Um, Then I have this, I actually got a week ago as well and this is the max factor lip finity lip lasting tint thing and this is just like a pen but it gives like a very nice tint and it smells really good but it's like in the shade one number one like raspberry color it's kind of like a raspberry color but yeah and then I just have this that I got from magazine just white but i use it as a top coat so that's why it's really dirty at the top so don't mind that guys kind of gross but you know that's just life um and then on to my favorites i just have this one which is the l'oreal one it smells amazing and i just really like it. it's kind of pink it's not too too pink it's like the correct color if you want to go out somewhere nice and in the middle it just has a light color i really like this then I just have the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick, and this is kind of like a lip balm because it's clear, but it kind of is like a lipstick, but it's a lip balm, so kind of both. And then I just have this brown lipstick, which isn't really brown, but it looks like it, but it's not. But then I just have the last one, which is a very light one, but it smells like watermelon, and it's amazing. So, yeah, those were about all of my lipsticks. And sorry I'm going too fast, but I just don't want this video to go like 20 minutes or something because it's already at like nearly 40 minutes, so I'm trying to make it quick. So, my first lip balm for my collection is a EOS one, and I really, really recommend this. It's really good. And it is the Summer Fruit one, and it smells amazing, so I definitely recommend this. Then I have three baby lips but one is like somewhere downstairs so i'm just not getting that um and then i just have the two that are with me and these are first one is the sweet apple and then sugar cookie and they are both very nice ones <clears throat> and then i have the crazy raspberry balea one <clears throat> and then it's like really good and it smells really good as well and then i have a clears one which is just like Number one smells really nice. It's very cute also. And then I have this one that I showed you in my first video, which is the Yelani Louis one. It's like from Slovakia. It's really good for like if you have like something wrong with your lips, I say. And it just like helps them to like get better or stuff. <clears throat> and then I have another one from Slovakia, which is a vitamin 
vitamin one and it doesn't have any scent to it it's just clear um it doesn't smell like coat because it's like i got it from like the hospital or something but yeah it's still kind of super moisturizing then the last two are just these two which are the um get fruity watermelon lip balms and they're just these they smell so so good i just love these and you can get them from like marston's in a set of three for like two pounds which is a good price obviously and then i just have the get fruity coconut lip balm and this also smells super good and i haven't used them too much because you can see how many lip stuff i have so i have to go step by step with them because i have a bit too much of them but whatever <laughs> and that was all for the lip stuff and then i just have this little compartment thing and inside i just basically like keep all my my all of my 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 brushes and like makeup wipes and sponges and just little tool things that I would use like for basically when I'm doing like eyeshadow or just basically anything so yeah so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video um like I said in the last week's video I'll be doing one video each week but if I get a chance that I'm kind of bored so I might be doing two a week but we'll see what happens and hopefully we get more so yeah thank you for watching bye